Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to The Nice Guy Show. Um, we're on every Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. I am The Nice Guy. I'm uh, author Phil Torsivia, and my latest book is out. Nice knowing you. Pick it up out on Amazon. I think I have the link here on the Wazilla Media page. My co-hosts are both back here today. It's great to have you guys back. I have Kathy McLaughlin, who is a spiritual intuitive and a holistic life coach out of Encinitas. And Dr. Michelle Wolford, who is a naturopathic doctor, also working out of Encinitas. And this week we have Michelle Sauls Smith, who is an interior designer from Studio Surface. Thanks for coming. Woohoo! <laughs> you guys all have a nice weekend? Uh, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. well, let's start off talking about what's in the media currently. It's the uh, controversy surrounding Rush Limbaugh and Sandra Fluck. Mm -hmm. So, um, just give you a little background. Sa Sandra Fluck is a Georgetown law student. She's 30 years old, and she testified before a House committee about um, how she believes that health care um, should be covered by insurance providers, including uh, contraceptives, uh, such as condoms and birth control pills. And she basically you know, made the argument that, you know, I'm having a lot of sex. It's expensive you know, you need to buy contraceptives, condoms, all this stuff. So she believes that, uh, you know, health care should be provided you know, to, to cover some of that. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Rush Limbaugh jumps on the story right away, and he, um, he twists things into her. The fact that she's having a lot of sex, meaning that she is somehow, and he called her this, a slut or a prostitute. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> well, I mean, what he's basically trying to do is hijack the story. He's trying to make the story about him. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, if you're a comedian and you say things like that, it's different than when you're a political activist, kind of like he is. Um, so he's way out of line saying it, and he's paying the price today because a lot of uh, spots are pulling their, their sponsorships from him. Good. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, what are your opinions about, you know, should, should contraceptives be covered by health care? I definitely think yes. I mean, especially if you want to take the natural route. I mean, a lot of people don't want to be in oral contraceptives anymore anyways. Right. And then if you do go to the condom route, a lot of people don't want the latex or they want more of like the lamb skin. And that's like three condoms for like nine bucks. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, and I mean, wouldn't you rather, you know, practice safe sex and prevent pregnancies, prevent STDs and, you know, because then you have to... So I, say, I mean, I say yes, for sure. Yeah, I would think that, you know, just practicing safe sex and using contraceptives is going to save, you know, the insurance company's money in the long run. For sure. Know, right? Less pregnancies. Right. Yeah. Less, Abortions. Less unwanted and then the pregnancy. the emotional abortion. aspect of that. Right. And you were also talking about the, uh, the morning after pill, and you are saying, oh, that's not the safest <laughs> thing to to rely on or to take. Yeah, well, there was this thing, I guess, a lot of college campuses, and you and I have talked about this before, mm -hmm. um, are wanting to put in vending machines, condoms, and the morning after pill. And I think that putting condoms in a vending machine is great. I mean, most of these people are having sex anyways. You might as well say, well, we're going to promote safe sex. But the morning after pill, I don't actually agree with being in the vending machines because people, you know, they have that freak out moment and you're a little unstable because your emotions are high, and people will just start taking the morning after pill. Right. And that can decrease your fertility. It can also interrupt the way your natural hormonal waves occur. And you shouldn't be taking it like it's, it's a like contraceptive. It's like isn't yeah. it? Well, it's emergency it, only, not precautionary. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that definitely shouldn't be in vending machines. Right. Well, plus, that's not cheap, too. It's like 30 40 bucks. Not that I know, personally. It's 50 <laughs> It's $50. Right. It's expensive. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I keep a supply at home. Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> sprinkle it on the oatmeal in the morning. And, what's that? Is that powdered sugar? Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Wow, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I, I can't see that being in a vending machine. No. no. But condoms, definitely. For um, sure. See, the challenge me nuts because the, the fact that she's having a lot of sex does not mean that she's a slut or a prostitute. She could be having a lot of sex with her boyfriend, which yeah. is probably yeah. what's going on. She yeah, has right. a steady guy. Right. They're having a lot of sex. Why not? Right. Yeah. You know, but you know, he has to make it about him. So now he's, he's paying the price now for sure. Well, you know what? And even if she is having a lot of sex with multiple partners, at least she's wanting to be safe about it. Right. You know what I mean? And so why is it okay for a guy to do it but not a girl? Who exactly. cares? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just, it does not even belong well, in politics. Well, like you said, if he was a comedian, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, get some laughs. But because he is being subsidized by big sponsors, right. you know, he, he doesn't have the right to be... Right. And I hate and push his agenda on And he has a political agenda. Women. He's he's a you know ultra conservative. He's on the Republican side. He hates Obama, of course. You know, and right. okay, I understand that agenda. But it's fine, even with Obama, and I am an Obama supporter, he of course jumped on the bandwagon by calling her and you know, giving his support to her, which was nice that he did that. But the fact that they had to publicize that Obama called Sandra Fluck right. 
you know, that's that's Obama taking some of the attention on him, saying, "Look, I'm a good guy now." You know? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> it's it's all. How 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 uh, is Rush Limbaugh doing with the uh, oxycotton, by the way? She <laughs> had yeah, no kidding. Yeah, right. Yeah, just a side note. Right. Yeah, after all he went through with that and all the the, the media attention that guy, mm -hmm. yeah, don't don't throw stones when you're in a right. glass house. Right. right. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, looks someone like, could call him a crackhead. Speaking of babies, is that a baby in there? It's a baby in here. Yeah. Wow. How Did far not along? take the morning after pill. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, 31 weeks. So wow. He's coming supposedly in nine weeks. Is this yeah. your first one? First one. So yeah. what's it like? And I always wonder this. I'm maybe I'm weird because I'm a guy. But what's it like being pregnant? I mean, is it? <laughs> no, like, it's a big question. You truly are excited. I love this. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, well, I just it's, my mom adopted four kids, and oh, she wow. had like thirty uh, foster children. So oh I've always gosh. been into kids. I didn't want to have any of my own and raise them. I've been through right. enough of that. But it always makes me curious. Like, how, like, is it uncomfortable to carry? Is it is it hard to sleep? Is it? You know, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's different for everybody. Mine has been really easy, you know, so far. But um, I didn't have any morning sickness. No. Um, wow. I've been sleeping okay. What um, about cravings? Uh, initially, I wanted mashed potatoes and green beans nonstop, like home cooked <laughs> food. That's probably because I'm from the Midwest. There were some other little things that you were craving. I remember funny oh, things. I, uh, like green beans, I remember that. Yeah, but. there was something that was like peanut butter or something. I can't remember, but I was yeah, laughing because it was so random. Peanut butter yeah, on the mashed potatoes? Exactly. <laughs> and it's not so much random. what you crave, it's just like the urgency. Like if you want something, you want it now. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so thank God we live across the street from a grocery store. So right. my husband didn't have he to travel goes, far. Right. Like, babe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> babe, what do you want? Wow. Yeah. So how so. do you sleep when, you, when you're pregnant? Is it a, you have to sleep on your back now, right? Or on your side? No, you can't sleep on your back. Can't sleep on your you back. sleep on your sides. Okay. And um, we have this body pillow called mm -hmm. the Snoogle. It looks like Snoogle. a snake. Right. And it's been great, except uh, Jake, my husband, says I look like I'm wrestling an anaconda because I grab it with both <laughs> arms and legs, and I flip it about 500 times a night to be comfortable. So <laughs> you knock him out. So I'm sleeping good. He's probably not so much, but yeah, it's it's crazy. It's you know nothing like I've ever experienced, obviously. So well, soon it's a trip. Yeah, soon yeah. you'll have a little boy running around. So. Yeah, I want to be outnumbered. Fun. Names. Yeah. Um, we've thought of a couple, but we're not going to announce them just yet. We want to make sure it's the right name for him when he comes out. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I think that's smart, too, because you know when it's like, you're like, oh, we want to name him Blank, then all of a sudden somebody has right. a story about some guy right. with that yeah, name, and you're like, yeah, there's a kid that picked right. his nose <laughs> in school, <laughs> yeah. or, you know, right. stomp. Some news so. thing comes right. up. Right, yeah. right, right, exactly. Right. Right. So, yeah, we'll wait and see if it fits or not. Cool. So, uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad that everything's going well so far. I look forward to seeing your little boy when he comes out yeah, and says hello to us. <laughs> we'll bring them in. Yeah. Um, we also wanted to cover some other uh, medical issues, like we were going to talk about arthritis a little bit. Now, do, sure. you, do you guys, well, you wouldn't, but mm -hmm. you see patients with arthritis. Yeah, right? I see a lot of patients with arthritis. Um, number one reason for any sort of arthritis is internal inflammation. Mm -hmm. So it really boils down to cleaning up the liver. So your liver processes all of your toxins, your internal toxins that your body makes um, just because it produces waste on its own. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Also, environmental toxins and foods that you eat. I mean, emotional toxins. I mean, any sort of toxins. Your liver is going to help. You know, filter that out. Mm -hmm. So, if your liver is not filtering things out quickly enough, and your body's not discharging the excess or residue, then that can create internal inflammation, and that's when you start to get joint aches and pains, whether it's in your fingers, your shoulders, your knees. Your hips, wherever. Yeah, my, my mother's side of the family, I remember my grandmother, her fingers, her fingers actually started going crooked. Yeah. It was just, I mean, it just looks so painful. Yep. And my mom's knuckles are a little bit inflamed too. I hope she doesn't get it as bad as her mother got it. But it's, For sure. So is it just like calcium deposits then? And no, it's not. It? Really what it is is, the best way to describe it is, let me back up a little bit, is mm -hmm. There's uh, different ways that our immune system responds to the world that we live in, and we call that miasm. And um, there's a particular miasm, the psychotic miasm, oddly enough, that has a really hard time eliminating toxins. And so that miasm ends up getting a lot of joint inflammations. So really, it's just kind of fluid that's building up in that area with all of these different toxins that are living in that fluid because you're not able to urinate it out or poop oh. it out or uh -huh. breathe it out. Um, cry it out, you know what I mean, or sweat it out. 
And so um, that is like a rheumatoid arthritis. So it's just time over time, your body builds antibodies. So it starts fighting against all of these toxic fluids. And now there's this constant war going on inside of you. Hmm. And so not only do you have internal inflammation, but now you have this like internal battle basically. And it's just creating even more inflammation. Okay. And so what's happening is the body's um, like the fingers turning opposite is just the way of saying that there's too much congestive and serious, so the bone just starts to, yeah. to warp, basically. Is it similar? I mean, is gout related to it at all? Because I noticed the joints. Right. So gout is kind of related to it. Gout, it means too much uric acid. You're, uh-huh. you're too acidic. Um, you usually get gout in your big toe, right. actually. Yeah. Um, so if you have too much acidic foods in your diet, um, drinking too much alcohol, too many chemicals, then you would most likely get a gout. But arthritis is similar but different because that's more of a systemic, so full body situation. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, th- there's a history of it in my family. Hopefully, I don't have to you know deal with it myself. Yeah. Um, th- how do people prevent? You just detoxify. Uh, casserole packs. So rubbing castor oil over your liver, putting a small like heat pack on it for like 20 minutes every night before you go to bed is a great way to detoxify your liver. Um, drinking water, I think, is great too, and then just movement. Those would be my top three. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good to know. Um, When we come back in the next segment, we're going to talk to Michelle about interior design, which is, I've got some interesting stories about that when I first moved here from back east and brought (laughs) my furniture I shouldn't have. But (laughs) Michelle set me straight on that. We'll be right back with a nice guy show.